So till now, we have seen that how we can use SQL Server integration service to go and collect data from various sources like Excel, CSV, SQL Server, Oracle, etc. And then we can dump this data into a centralized database like Data Warehouse. Then we saw that how we can use SQL Server analysis service to create a cube. And by creating a cube, you know, you can then get a multi-dimension view of the data. And now we are on the final phase, you know, where we would like to go and view this analyzed data. And that is done by using SQL Server reporting service. So we have seen how we can collect data by using SSIS, how we can analyze data by using SSAS. And now we are on the final phase where we would like to go and display this data by using SSRS. So in this lab, we'll try to understand how we can use SSRS to create a simple basic report first. So here's a simple table we have called as country master and we would like to display this country master you know, using SQL Server reporting service. So let's start with some small examples and then we'll gradually move towards bigger examples. So the first step is go ahead and open your business intelligence studio and from the business intelligence studio let's go ahead and click on new project and let's select the report server project wizard and let's give a nice name to this uh, saying display countries and let's press ok so the first thing what we need to supply here is the data source the data source where your country master is lying so currently our country master is on the server that is win hyphen b q b e r h w w y b h and uh, this country master table is lying in this database that is my cus db right so let's go back to our dialog box over here let's click on edit now uh, you can also see before i click on edit here you can also see that you can have different types of data sources for example okay currently our data is lying in sql server but in case you know your data is lying in analysis service as a cube or in case your data is lying in xml you can choose them accordingly but for now our country master table is lying in sql server so let's go ahead and select on microsoft sql server let's click on edit and over here let's give first the server name so i'll just copy and paste the server name from here copy right our database name is my db right so my db i'll just test the connection yes the connection is fine i'll say okay and i'll say next and now the next thing is we need to go and provide the table or the query you know uh, from where we need to extract data so currently we need to go and extract data from this country master over here right so i'll go and click on this query builder button over here and uh, the query builder button what it does is it actually opens up a very nice query designer over here and let's go ahead and add this table that is country master add it and let me go and select the columns so currently i want to display both the country id as well as the country name i'll say okay next now the next thing what you need to select is basically what kind of report it is is it a tabular report or a cross matrix report so currently you know just select tabular you know i'll talk about this cross matrix in the coming up labs so leave this matrix for now select on tabular do a next now when we talk about a report right report is divided into three sections the first section is uh, page level data for example page numbers or page headers whatever it is right the second is you know in case your report has some kind of groupings for example if you want to group by uh, some country name or state name right and the third one is the actual data so currently we don't have any kind of page level data or grouping data right so what I'll do is I'll select both of these columns into details for now so you can see that you know this first section is where you will go and put page level data second uh, section is where you will put group level data and the last one is details so don't worry about the first two uh, sections we'll talk about that later on so I've just selected the available fields into details I'll say next now you can go and choose your table style so let me just select corporate next now you know reporting services you know reports actually get hosted into IIS so you can see over here he's saying that okay where do you want to go and host your report so keep that as it is 
and um, uh, also I'm keeping the folder name as it is. I'll talk about both these folder names as well as the report server URL later on. For now, just keep them as it is to a next and I'll say here uh, RPT display country and finish. Now, once you have created the project, you know, you will see two tabs on your screen. One is the design tab and the other one is the preview tab. Now, the design tab is useful, you know, when you want to go and change the text of your report. For example, you can see we have a very unfriendly name over here, RPT display country, right? So I can go and change this saying that list of list of countries, right? So that's that's more user friendly and descriptive. Second, I can go and change, uh, you know, the column names as well, the, the text the text of the column names. For example, here I can just say, must be country name, this is fine. And this I can just say as ID, okay. I'll save this. So the design tab is useful when you want to go and change the look and feel of your report. And the preview tab, you know, basically helps you to see how your report actually looks like with the data. So for example, now I've clicked on the preview tab. So you will display me the the report so you can see now you know the output of the report how it looks like so the design tab is for designing and the preview tab is to go and preview the output of the report now let's click on view and let's click on solution explorer now on the solution explorer you can see that he has created a file called as rpt display country dot r d l now this dot r d l file is where all your report structure gets stored okay so in other words you know when you are designing this report right all the metadata of how this report will look like what are the fields what is the data source everything is getting stored into this dot rdl file now the internal format of this dot rdl file is an xml so if you right click on this file and if you say view code you will find that the complete file structure is in XML. So you can see over here, uh, you know, the look and feel like fonts, etc. Everything is in XML over here. Okay. So we don't need to know about how this uh, internal XML file is, but just for our knowledge sake, we need to understand that whenever we are doing designing over here, right, uh, it goes and modifies, you know, this XML file that is the dot .rdl file, right. Now, this is good. So we are able to design the report. We are able to preview the report. But now when we say that our end users want to go and see this report, they will not be installing such kind of complicated business intelligence studio, right? So end users would, would like to go and see this report on simple browsers. End users would like to go and see this report on applications like, you know, WinForm applications or WPF application, right? So for that, we need to go and publish this report on internet information server. So in other words, what we need to do is click on view click on solution explorer right click on a project and say deploy now the time you do deploy you can see in your output window it says that deploy started and then it deploys this report onto the report server uh, IIS web application okay now this report server uh, web application is a ready-made web application which gets created when you go and install SQL server reporting services okay so what it has done is very quickly if you see your solution explorer structure so inside the report server it has gone ahead and it has created a folder called as display countries so our project name was display countries so he has gone ahead and he has created a folder called as display countries and inside the display countries he has deployed your report that is rpt display country right now once this report is deployed onto IIS, you know, now anybody can go and consume this report on a browser, anybody can go and consume this report on a WinForm application, WPF application, wherever they want it, right? So let's first try to dis view this report inside a simple browser. So in order to view this report, just go and browse to this local host report server URL because that's where the report has now been published. So let's click on this. Now, as soon as you go and click on this report server, it actually goes and displays the folders inside the report server web application. So what I'll do is let me just go and copy this on the browser, paste it. So you can see that he has displayed, uh, you know, all the report server folders, you know, which are present in the report server application. So currently, uh, you know, our folders display countries. So let's click on that. And inside that folder, we currently have only one report that is RPT display country. 
So let me just go and click on this. So there our report is displayed on the browser. Uh, and with the report, he, you, know, you can see that he has displayed here a default toolbar. You know, in, inside this toolbar, there are some ready-made facilities like you can go and export this report to CSV, to PDF, Excel, Word, etc. And if you want, you can also go and do pagination in case you have a lot of records. So this was a very simple example, you know, where we were trying to understand how we can use SSRS to create a simple report and how we can go and see this report inside a browser. So I hope that you enjoyed this lab. Now in the next lab, we would like to go and implement a search facility on the report. Now you can see this report is good, right? But you know, what if I want to go and do a simple search over here where, I, where I'll say that, okay, if I put IND, I should only see IND, right? So in the next lab, we'll go and see that how we can go and create input parameters for our report.